Uh, this morning we're going to go out on Lake Martin and do a little pre-fishing for our tournament tomorrow and we're going to hope to find some bigger fish for a kicker on the tournament. Today's our uh, first tournament of the spring so we're going to go out there and see what we can do practicing today. We've got a general idea of what we're going to do but we're just going to try to throw around some different baits, maybe some bigger baits, try to find some bigger fish but the, I guess the general plan is just find something that's going to catch a bunch of fish for the tournament. We're going to try to stay slow, more likely because the water's gotten a little bit colder. We're going to stay slow, we're not using many reaction baits, more finesse baits today. Our graph here, our hummingbird, we got a chip for that allows us to see uh, satellite imaging. So it gives us a good, clear picture of like where boat docks are, what kind of boat dock they are. And like if there's like hit like timber land in the water, like the image will show it, show us that. So it provides us like a really good like visual representation of what we're gonna be fishing and like what we can prepare for to throw at the tournament. So right now we're just point hopping, like right here and then right there. We pulled up on them and it's like the water comes up and it has a good rock like layout. Like there's a lot of uh, good structure here for the fish to hold up, like the spot of ass to hold up on. And with the current and the way the, the wind is pushing all the bait fish up into these pockets, all the fish will sit right here on these points, or should, and um, they'll wait for bait to come and ambush them. Yeah, it's just a long stretch of bank, so it's definitely worth fishing. But when it comes to fishing, floating docks are not... They're not ideal. Yeah, they're not very friendly to you because there's nothing underneath it for the fish to have structure on. So whenever you know you want to go fish docks, it's best when the lakes have a bunch of these instead of like Smith Lake. Smith Lake has Smith got... Smith Lake is the worst lake to go dock. Fishing. Majority, if not, I mean, Almost all it's of those docks. Ninety-five percent of the lake are floating, are so floating you really have to. But the lake's also like three hundred feet deep. Ridiculously deep. So you have to. There's very few spots where you can go. It's a bunch of finesse fishing in really deep water. I'm tying on a new jig because I just broke mine off on a fish. Beep, 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 beep. Gonna tie one on. Pretty similar. Not not the exact same jig because I don't even know what kind of head that jig was that he had. But I grabbed the one the most similar that I had. Yes, these yeah. are our big, big support, support from the whole neighborhood. We got Fido, Sam, and Charlie out here. Oh. It's warming up pretty quick. That sounds like, good. Oh, got one. Dude, he had another lure in his mouth. This dude's hungry. And I'm stuck. We can get a good uh, a little, That's a Lake Martin bass. All right, well, we've been out here since about 8 o'clock this morning. We've been doing a little, we did a little bit of some reaction bases early this morning, didn't have anything really going on that. We started to slide, we decided to slow down a little bit and throw some Carolina rigs. And we've got two right now. Yeah. We've been fishing a lot of like, rock points today instead of rather than what we did when we were here last week. And once again, Carolina rig. That's a giant Lake Martin bass right there for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the sponsors are, are really everything. I mean, we have a bunch of great sponsors, Coos Cotton, Marks Outdoors, Eco Pro Tugston, I mean, and then just a bunch of like local businesses around the area. And they, uh, they actually provide us with our money for all of our entry fees for the spring tournaments. They, they pay for everybody's entry. And I mean, they just, they help us out in a bunch of ways. Coos Cotton has given us, you know, countless hats, stuff like that, discounts. Uh, same thing with Marks, they give us discounts on 
everything, tackle, tackle clothing. reels, clothing. Yeah. It was all 15% off. Yeah. It's a really yeah. good deal. Our Eco Pro, uh, we get a discount on that, and especially for me and him with all the flipping and stuff that we do, we go through a lot of Eco Pro. And I mean, they just, I mean, they're always, you know, like you may think, well, there's so many of us, and they sponsor all these, all these different kids. I mean, you know, you walk up to the Kusa Cotton Tent after a tournament, or just, you know, during weigh-in, and I mean, they. I mean, they, they treat you nice, you know, they, they make sure that everything that they've given you, you know, Makes the like hats family. still work. Yeah, I mean, they, they treat, and it's not just us, I mean, they treat Everybody every one of these high school respect. kids, you know, like we're professionals, and I mean, it, it just, it's, it's really cool just to see the way that, the way all these, these businesses treat us, considering we're just a bunch of high school kids fishing. morning we woke up about four o'clock, got out of the house, went and got some food, and now we're here at the lake. It's about 6.45 right now. We're about to blast off here in a minute. We're about 171. Got a, got a long day in front of us. Yeah, 171, so it'll be closer to probably 7.15, 7.30 before we get to leave, depending on when we start. It's cold. It's like 30 degrees. Yeah, it's it's the ice all over the boat. Up. The boxes were frozen shut. I mean, it's, it's cold. But the most important thing to me is learning teamwork, learning how to work with others uh, is the most important thing. And this is a uh, fishing is something you can carry through your life. It's a lifetime sport. It's not something that's going to end like football. You can do this the rest of your life and enjoy what you're doing. If sponsors were not involved, we couldn't keep it going. These tournaments cost between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars to do. Uh, without the sponsorship of Gold Bill, Shimano, Alabama Power, all those companies that uh, are so gracious to us, we cannot do this. And we we uh, put out fifty thousand dollars worth of scholarships last year to our seniors, and uh, and so uh, without the sponsorship, there there would be no ASA BFA. How'd it go, guys? So how was it out there? It was rough. It was cold this morning. <laughs> Did y'all catch any? Did you get your limit? Uh, we missed a good few, but caught ten. So. Is this rock out here? Yes. Sir. Yeah, I was out here this morning during lunch, and uh, y'all had ice on the boat. That's not fun. Yeah, it was rough this morning. It's cold. Yeah, hot hands, you know. Yeah, delayed start. <laughs> yeah. There you go, hot hands. I hear you. I How hear long you get us in the boat before you launch? An hour and a half. Went up and hung yeah, out in the bathroom where it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Just okay? How many did y'all get? Huh? Five? Cool. So, what's the word, Dalton? How was it, man? It was a struggle. Long day. Very long day. It just, it was different from practice, so. It's very long, but I think everybody struggled today, so it's kind of a thing for everybody. All right, how many how many fish you got? We have four, really two. Two of them don't look like fish. But <laughs> they, they're 12 inches, so we're going to weigh them in. How was it, man? Terrible. <laughs> well, it was a rough day. Uh, we lost a little bunch of fish. We got two in the boat for 255, so. What, well, what was wrong? It, we just couldn't keep them on. We lost one at the boat. Both of us got wrapped around a tree when we had one on. It was just something that, yeah, stuff we couldn't fix. How was the weather this morning? Ooh, it was cold. 
Hey, not wow. bad, not bad. Look at this tank right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Ethan Harrell, Dalton Lucas, four fish. Thompson Warriors, Thompson Warriors. Let's see, 4.64, good job. Hey, I know it's not what you wanted, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to uh, Video Visions Media. They've been with us all weekend. They've been covering like the whole event and just taking in what a high school tournament is. <laughs> Oh, so what are you doing? Hey, 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 hey